Today's challenge in the Kaboom event called Absolute Frosty Defense Line exclamation point, forces you to know how to hit lobbed balls. The second structure can't be broken in a timely fashion unless you can hit a decent chunk of the lob balls it sends at you. For getting lobbed balls, we're going to have to get a, even more Tennessee. Not the state, but tennis with the... yeah. Anyway, the best place to deal with short and long balls is right here. Not far back and not far front. If you're able to time correctly, you can sit right on this line here and get about 80% of the lobbed balls. We'll go into the timing and hitboxes later, because it's funkier than I thought it was. If you can't time it well, then when you see the ball is short, take two steps forward to this line. If you see that the ball is far, take two steps back to this line. If you're really struggling to hit lobbed balls, sitting on this line would do just fine. You'll get about 50% of the balls. There are balls that would fall very short and very long, but those are outliers you don't have to worry about. Worrying about them will lead to a lower score because they'll put you out of position for dealing with the next ball. Yellow buff this time is uh, pretty nice if you are having trouble doing perfect hits. It has a high chance of doing perfect hits, and it's just, it's a basically auto aim, but auto hitting this time. Uh, speed buff is trash though, so I wouldn't even pay attention to it. If you go too far back, you'll get wet. If you're wet, get hit by cryo balls, you are frozen. Frozen equals less points. Prioritize cryo balls. They are worth 30 points for a normal hit, or 36 points for a perfect hit. The regular and lobbed balls are worth 20 points for a normal, and 24 points for perfect. So cryo balls are 50% more points. They're also easier to hit than lobbed balls, in my opinion. Also lobbed balls move very slowly, and cryo balls are shot out fairly fast. Whenever the structure shoots cryo balls, it shoots them in quick succession. Three cryo balls can be 108 points, plus additional future potential points from damage, where damage means rage on the meter, and destruction point for the structure. Whereas one lobbed ball, compared to three cryo balls, one lobbed ball is 24 points at most, which is a lot less with including all the damage points. I do not recommend ever dashing in the area that I recommended to play in. It's too funky to control and very likely to lose points from being out of position or running into balls. So now let's go into the hitbox. So I understand it a bit better now. It's really wonky. There's a so there's a circle for a perfect hit, and a cone on each side for a perfect hit. <laughs> Anywhere that isn't in that cone or that circle is not a perfect hit. Also, the height that it can hit is adjusted by the screen itself, as it seems where the ball is in the 2D plane can affect its height or the rackets, your um, hitting ball thing, height on the 3D plane. So what I mean is, if you see here, it should be a miss because the ball is way too high, but you're able to hit it. And that's what I mean, that the hitbox is really weird for the ball. Um, yeah. So anyway, if you're able to time it right, do that. If not, um, as I was saying earlier, uh, you'll need to move a little bit front and a little bit back, not too much, just a little bit, um, to get a better hit on it. So, hopefully this was helpful today, and hopefully you're able to hit lob balls better. Uh, 
if you're uh, needing tips for day one, uh, please uh, look at, I'll uh, link the video at the end of this video on the bottom left. Yeah. Alright, well, have a good day.